Hi YouTube, it's Gareth here from Tech Radar again, and I'm here to talk to you about fitness trackers. Now, you may be thinking about getting one of these after a post New Year's resolution hype, maybe you got one for Christmas, or you've just got one sitting in a drawer. But the key thing is that these things have to be used properly. You can't just strap it on and go running around. You need to think about how to use it. So we've got seven tips to really get the most out of your fitness trackers. If you don't have one already, you need to think about getting the right wearable for you. Now, there are three types on offer. You've got the fitness tracker, the running watch, and the smart watch, and all offer really different things. The fitness tracker is very basic. It might count your steps. It may do a little bit of heart rate stuff, but it's a very basic device. Then we move up to running watches, which can do a lot more. It can help you get ready for a marathon or even just a 5K. It uses GPS. It's got a lot of different bits and pieces that help you really get fit for a specific thing. Then we've got smart watches. Now these are the more jack of all trades. They can download apps, so you can do a variety of different fitness things, but essentially they're more of a phone extension with maybe a heart rate monitor built in. You need to make sure you get the right one for your needs. Right, let's talk about setting your goals because that's really important. Now, all of these devices can track your steps. So that's really good. It means that you know exactly how many you're going to be taking each day and 10,000 a day is generally considered healthy. But if you set yourself a goal that's too easy, you're not going to do it. And if you set it too hard, it's unrealistic. So think about how many you do each day, take an average, work it out, and then maybe add a thousand each time so you stay with your fitness tracker and really get the most out of it. Okay, listen up, because this is really important, but configuration, it's critical. Now, when you turn on the app for your fitness tracker, it'll ask for things like gender and your height and your weight. Now, these are really important, and you might be tempted to skip over them, but if you don't put them in, it won't know who you are. It won't know how fit you're going to get and how exactly you move day to day. So make sure you input this data and do it as accurately and as truthfully as possible. How you weigh your fitness tracker is also really important too. If it's too tight, the heart rate monitor won't work. And if it's too loose, the data will be inaccurate and that's no use to anybody. So make sure that it's always in contact with the skin, but not cutting off circulation. Another tip, keep to a regular charging schedule. Now, if you've used a fitness tracker before, you'll know the pain of breaking a streak. You've used it seven days in a row and the eighth day, it's run out of battery. So to avoid that happening, keep a regular charging schedule. Know where the charger is and if you need to, put notifications on your phone to keep the thing really charged up. If you're one of those people that really struggles to remember, there are different options available. You've got Move Now, you've got stuff from Withings and Misfit. These will last for six months, even a year at a time, and that'll mean you don't have to worry about the charger and you'll keep your streak going. So you've got your fitness tracker and you want to do more. The good news is your friends can help, and not by being encouraging, but being there to be beaten, to be crushed. Most fitness trackers have got leaderboards, social connections, scores to be beaten from your friends. Now, the good news is it's really encouraging and competitive. Downside, you have to have the same fitness tracker, but it will keep you motivated and keep that fitness tracker lasting a little bit longer. Always make sure you've got the latest software running on your fitness band. This is really important because manufacturers often issue updates to help with connection issues, make sure accuracy is better, and generally keep the fitness tracker up to date. Always have a look in your smartphone's application to see if there's an update available, usually in the About section of settings. Okay, you've listened to the first six tips, but this is the big one. This is the important one. If you don't have willpower, you're not going to make this work. A fitness tracker is a brilliant tool and it can make you a healthier person, but you have to want to do it. You have to fit it into your lifestyle in different ways and become more active as a result. If you don't make the change, nothing's going to happen. Thanks for watching YouTube. If you've got any fitness tracker tips yourself, please let us know in the comments below. And a big thank you for liking, a massive thank you for subscribing, and stay tuned for more great fitness tips like these ones.